No! Oh, oh. Damn it! And this is Reini Rosman. Hi! <laughs> and today he's going to drive me out into the Austrian wilderness and I have to survive out there with only a knife and maybe a few other tools. And right now we are driving into the wild for quite a long time, so it's really deep. The real Austrian wilderness. <laughs> and although it's summer, it's getting really cold here in the night, so I only have shorts and uh, I'm going to wear some bra and that's it <laughs> yeah and uh, Reini organized the permission that I can stay here in the forest because normally making a fire and camping in the woods in Austria is not allowed but thanks to him I'm allowed and also if you want to do something similar like this camping in the forest or you know staying at a log cabin you can visit Waldurlaub.at and the owner here allows people to stay in the forest. Yeah. It's the competence center for bushcraft and survival training here in Europe and in Austria and, and therefore it's a good opportunity for you. Genau. And Reini Rosmann is one of the most renowned survival instructors in Austria. So if you're interested in survival courses, then make sure that you check out his website as well. <laughs> so, awesome. Okay guys, so we have found a good place where I can survive. I'm going to sleep right here and now Reine is going to leave me alone and then I'm all by myself and he has driven me in with the car quite a long time so I'm really stuck here till the next morning. <laughs> <laughs> good luck! Really good <laughs> yeah. luck! So I have a first aid kit if something goes wrong that's okay but unfortunately I do not have a cell service and yeah, I'm really on my own now and I have to take care of myself, so I cannot injure myself. Now let's start the survival challenge. Reini is going to leave me now and we see if I can survive the night. Bye Reini! <laughs> okay, now the challenge is on. Alright, so I want to survive 24 hours in the wild with only using my knife here. And uh, I have this small rucksack with me, which contains my filming equipment and I do have a GPS tracker. I also have a flashlight for the night. This is just for security, so if something happens that I can walk out of the forest and also my camera doesn't have any night vision, so I really need a flashlight so that I can film in the night. And then in here I have my camera equipment, I have some first aid kit, my GoPro, my other camera and this here which is my foraging bag. I'm going to take off my shirt now. So I'm wearing my bra and my trouser. Yeah that's pretty much it. I don't have any other equipment with me and I am going to attempt to make the boat drill today, so let's see if that works. Okay, now let's start the challenge. <laughs> um, this is going to be my sleeping place. It's a little bit protected from the wind, but I have to make a stone wall here. This is where the fireplace is going to be. And actually I want to make the fire first, because making a fire here with the boat drill is going to be a real challenge. And what I have here is a willow branch that I hacked off on the way to this location and this was the only willow that I found which was somewhat dry so I hope I can get an amber with this wood here otherwise every wood here is pretty wet and it's going to be complicated so before I do anything else I want to make a fire because that's the most essential thing which is going to bring me through the night now I'm searching for tinder and I want to collect it first and Reini has showed me a good way to find tinder. Look at this. There's some grass here and it looks really dry. I have quite a lot of 
tinder now. And this tinder is almost bone dry, but it can be that there's still a little bit of moisture in the in the tinder bundle, so I'm going to lay it in the sand for a while. So the owner of this property has assured me that the water here is drinkable and you don't need to purify it. This is a spruce tree and it has very flammable sap on it. Okay, so I found the first potential food in this creek and there are some frogs swimming around. So in a survival situation I definitely would eat them, but we are in Austria and in Austria all amphibians are protected, so I'm not allowed to roast them on the fire. That's how it is guys, so no meal for me. I have prepared some firewood, so I have smaller kindling here and I have built a platform for the ground. And now it's time to make the actual boat drill set. Mosquitoes are getting bad and I'm getting bitten all of the time so I hope that I get the fire done soon. Now as a woman I'm not as strong as some men are and you need to be really strong to complete the boat drill. So I've trained myself that I can do the boat drill with both arms and I'm pre-drilling the first hole with the left arm and then after I'm making the notch I will finish the drill with my right arm. So this is the knife that I'm using today and I've decided to be a very strong and sturdy survival knife so you can use it for chopping and patoning. But also what I did was I have drilled a hole into the side of the handle here which is perfect for the handheld of the bow drill.
Het went uit. Where did it go? My tinder bundle is getting smaller and smaller. And also I suspect that it's not really dry, so now I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Taking my tampon and use a little bit of the cotton in there. Yeah, you can call it cheating. It's okay. <laughs> Finally. Finally, yeah! Don't go out, don't go out. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Oh my god. I had to cheat, I'm sorry. But the grass was not good. The tampon saved the day. So now I'm uh, threading back the paracord into my shoe and then I'm going to go for more firewood, for stones and for leaves because I need a bed for tonight. I completely have lost track of time too so I have no idea how late it is. it's really raining cats and dogs so I'm just going to get some firewood but I'm not going to film it so at least the rain has stopped but it's still thunder I think Ali would be proud of me. Get to the chopper. Uh... 
Okay, so now I'm clearing all of the stones which are above my bed. I want to make sure that I'm sleeping safe and that no stone is going to fall on my head. And also I need the stones for a little bit of a wall. And besides that, if you are sleeping in the forest, you also want to check for the trees above you. And I'm sleeping underneath two very healthy beech trees. So I should be fine and not get hit by some kind of branch. Okay, so now I'm getting hungry after all of this hard work and I found this rotten log here over there. So maybe there are some grubs in the log. So for this task I have designed my knife with a very thick tip so that you can search for grubs and pry with your tip without having to fear that your tip will break off. And this one is really thick so you won't bend this over easily. There's nothing in here, it's too old and rotten. This is a nice place to survive, but there's no food. So I found a couple of strawberries and ate them, but otherwise there's just nothing. And here I cannot fish because there are no fish in the water. I also cannot hunt because I don't have the permission here. And hunting with bow and arrow is not allowed in Austria. So I guess I have to go hungry to bed today. I'm trying to get more leaves for my small survival bed here and I hope that it will be enough to insulate me from the cold ground. So the wind is coming in from up here and that's why I have built the wall pretty high at my where my head is going to be here and at the back side and this should protect me against the wind. And also now I'm collecting more leaves to have a thicker bed. And I think I have enough of firewood for the night. So I have a big pile here, smaller firewood here and medium sized firewood here. So I think if I just sleep beside the fire I'm going to be okay. And I'm not going to build a roof over my head because yeah, I don't think it's going to rain anymore. So the sky has cleared up. And even if it's raining a little bit, I'm very well protected underneath the beech trees here. So I should be fine if I don't have a roof over my head. And I'm only staying in the forest for 24 hours. So if I stayed longer, I would build a roof, of course, and make me a good shelter. I have done pretty much all of the survival work for today. And now comes the time to rest. But I gotta say, I'm not happy how I have made the bow drill fire. So I cheated a little bit by taking out some cotton. And this is why I want to do the bow drill again. And I've collected the same tinder again. And this was wet because of the rain. So now I've dried it out besides the fire. And now it has the same yeah, moisture content as before. And now I'm going to do the bow drill again because I want to see why this didn't work because it really bugs me and I want to learn something. Uh, this is not only for fun for me, but I want to have, I want to find out what went wrong with the last Tinder bundle. Okay, now I want to take a closer look at the Tinder bundle. And I honestly think that it's just too coarse. The grass here is really coarse. So, now I just take out some good pieces and wrap them in my hand to make them smaller. Like that. This is much finer now. And I continue doing that for a while and then we see if this works.
Okay, and here's the fine stuff and I have to put the amber exactly into the spot. It worked! It worked guys! Nice! It can be done, yeah! Man, I'm so happy now! So if the grass is too coarse, you have to rub it in your hands, make it finer and then it will work. And actually I've known that, but then I forgot about it. And then you get so, you know, confident, overconfident, then you forget the step and then you're going to fail this tinder bundle. I have to dry out my shoes because they are wet inside out and my socks too. So I have some good firewood and some bad firewood which is a little bit moist and I'm going to use the bad one first and I'm going to keep the better firewood for the night. Okay guys, so I have three important stones that I want to show you. The first one is this one, the second one this one, and the third one this one. And these stones are stopper stones. So if a log rolls near to my bed, these stones are going to stop the logs. Because I don't want the logs to fall onto my bed and maybe then the leaves are going to burn. And that could insult in an injury if I do not wake up. So it's important that you protect yourself from the logs with some stones. Okay, now I want to build myself a little bit of a mini shelter so that the wind doesn't come onto my back. It's one o'clock in the uh, early morning. Okay, it seems as if there's some thunder coming again. And now it's raining. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, it's raining. And now I have to protect the camera. Everything is wet! Mad. My fire went out. It's not survivable anymore, and I'm freaking cold. Oh. Now I put on my wet t shirt. I can do it, I can make it to my car. I'm cold, but I can make it. I can make it. 
I can't believe that I have to abort the mission. That's the first time that I am going home in the middle of the night. But it was impossible to stay out there because even if I have built a shelter, the fire was out and if the fire is out, you cannot stay like this in the forest. It's too cold. It's really too cold. Yeah. I'm not risking my life for a YouTube video. I hope that I will arrive at my car soon and that the main camera is not damaged. This is survival gas, so be prepared to have a flashlight with you if you have to walk out of the forest. Okay, finally I found my car. Wow, I'm really relieved. And I'm going to stay the rest of the night inside of the car trying to get warm again. Oh. Woo! What a survival trip, huh? Well... <laughs> um, I have to strip down. And then I'm going to wrap myself into the wool blanket and I'm going to stay in the car until dawn. Okay, I survived the night in the car, which was not so easy because it was getting quite cold, even in the car. First time for me that I had to go home uh, or flee into my car and it was raining so much. I don't know if you could see it on a video, but it was like somebody poured a bucket of water onto my fireplace and the fire was going out in only like 10 minutes so without a fire you i mean you will get hypothermia if you stayed out there so it's a potentially life-threatening situation and i decided to go to the car and it was the right decision because when i arrived here i was shivering already so this is no joke and this is real and this is what can happen if you attempt something like this. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed because it started really good and I got a boat drill fire going, I had a nice survival bed, but this rain was not normal. I've never seen so much rain and when I was walking through the dark, I could not even see more than two or three meters uh, ahead of me. So it was not easy. All right, so this is how it was. I'm sorry that it ended like this but I can't help it so thank you for watching and stay tuned till next time